I won't waste your time. Let me show you five skills I wish I had learned earlier and that every young man should learn. Look around at people and you'll see that everyone is looking into their phone, even when they're walking around. Nowadays, being mindful is one of the most valuable skills you can learn and will help you be present, make better decisions and do so many good things. So how do you learn to be mindful? The simple answer is meditation. Step 1. Download the app called Medito. Step 2. Open the app and go to daily meditation. Step 3. Start at 3 minutes and in time build up to 10 to 20 minutes. Do this every day and you'll build that solid skill. This is a good skill set that any young man should learn. It may seem hard and it is, but do not think about this. Just start. You're young, you're strong, you have unlimited power and energy. Don't be a coward. If you haven't started yet, promise the tribe in the comment section that you will start today no matter what. By the way, if you're not seeing progress in your fitness journey, let me help you for free with a video coaching call to clear everything up for you. The free calls are only for the first three who comment, I need coaching. Every man wants to be a leader, but are you okay with failing and coming back stronger? Are you willing to take risks? Are you willing to take full responsibility? Can you make important decisions? Can you sacrifice the pleasure of the moment for the future of yourself or the group? These are some characteristics of a leader, so think about it. Communication serves multiple purposes, including sharing information, expressing opinions, building relationships, coordinating activities, resolving conflicts, and influencing others. So it's important. Listen bro, you need to learn how to talk with people. So here are a few points from the book How to Win Friends and Influence People in a few words. Picture this. You're hanging out with your friends and someone makes a mistake or does something you don't agree with. It's attempting to jump in with criticism or harsh judgment. Instead, understand their perspective. Of course, you can tell people if you disagree with them, but you have to do it in a mature, masculine way. Try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. You're having a conversation with a friend and you both have different opinions. It's easy to defend your perspective. By generally trying to understand where the other person is coming from, you can build stronger connections and resolve conflicts. It's a skill that can greatly enhance our relationships and help us become more influential in our interactions. Forms of politeness. Use more often. Thank you for helping me. I appreciate it. For example, say have a nice day when you leave the gym. Now. Let's fix non-verbal communication. This means your posture, how you walk, handshake, etc. Here are some tips that help me become better at non-verbal communication. Let your stomach expand when you're walking or talking to someone. I was trying to expand my chest and suck in my stomach and that made me feel small and tense. Instead, inhale and expand your stomach and then into your lungs. Take deep breaths and relax your body. Walk with a straight posture. Pull your shoulders back and chin up. Strong handshake. You don't want to break people's hands. I met a few young men who would normally take my hand slowly and then try to squeeze it very hard. They were trying to make a strong handshake. You don't want to be that guy. And since no one taught you how to make a strong handshake, I'll teach you how. When you shake hands with another man, look into their eyes. Don't look elsewhere, but this may seem disrespectful. And don't be a pussy. Shake hands like a man. Now, you have a strong and attractive set of skills to start learning. As always, feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. See you soon.